What's up guys, this is Jake with Casually Commerce, and in this video we're going to be going over how you can find products to sell on your Shopify store using the Spocket app. So the cool thing about this app is that 90% of the suppliers on the app are either based in the US or they're based in Europe, meaning that the shipping times are going to be a lot faster than with typical dropship suppliers that take anywhere from two weeks to six weeks to actually deliver the product uh, from their warehouse to your customer. So this is going to speed up the shipping times a lot, which is one of the biggest issues that a lot of dropshippers face and a lot of uh, dropshippers are always trying to figure out how they can speed up shipping times. So this is one way finding a US based supplier if you're in the US or a European based supplier if you're in Europe. And another thing about all these suppliers on Spocket is that they've all been vetted and Spocket goes out and personally cultivates relationships with them to make sure that they're trustworthy and verified. So that way you don't have to worry about um, orders getting canceled or orders not being fulfilled on time or uh, you know the wrong products being sent out, etc, etc. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and jump inside the app. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can use Spocket to find products to sell in your store. And I'm also going to show you how you can use Spocket to go ahead and manage orders and fulfill orders all inside of your store. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So once you install the app to your store, this is what it's going to look like. So I went ahead and started a free trial. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to search for products on the app. And searching for products is pretty easy. There's a lot of different filters we can use. So we can filter by categories. You can see there's a lot of categories here, um, ranging from accessories all the way down to toys and clothing. And we can also filter by price. So we can put in a minimum price or a maximum price, or we can filter by location. So if we only want products that are shipping from the United States, Canada, UK, we can filter by all of these different areas, or we can select a specific supplier and then over here we can just choose how we want to sort our search results so what i would recommend doing before you go ahead and start your product search is to already have a niche in mind that you want to create the store around that you want to go ahead and sell to because this is going to make the product search a lot easier if you already know a niche that you're looking for so a couple tips for finding a niche. If you don't have one in mind already, you can just go ahead and browse here through the categories to kind of brainstorm and try and figure out something through there. Or I would recommend choosing one of two things. So one, you could pick a niche that you're interested in, or two, you could pick a niche that is trending, or you could pick one that's kind of the best of both of those. If you have a niche that you like that's also trending, then that's gonna be even better. And you can verify whether a niche is trending or not by typing it into Google Trends and just taking a look at the graph to see whether it's been trending up or trending down recently. And then once you have a niche, you can just go ahead and throw some of the niche related keywords into here and you can start looking for stuff. So first off, I'll show you what it looks like when you just look for a category. So I'll come down here and just go ahead and pick one right here so i'll just pick pet toys and you can see we have different pet toys here that we can go ahead and add to the import list which i'll show you how that works in a couple of minutes and if we wanted to go ahead and sort this by different things like location of the supplier we can so let's say we're based in the u.s we would probably want to go ahead and switch this to the united states that way we have faster shipping time so now all of these products showing up here are going to ship from the United States. You can see down here we have the shipping time estimated 4 to 7 days, 8 to 14, 4 to 7, 4 to 7. So we can go ahead and possibly justify which products we pick depending on what has um, the fastest shipping time or the lowest shipping price regardless of what we're looking for. So that's one way you can go ahead and look through here is just by looking through the categories right there. Or you can also just go ahead and search directly with keywords. So like I said, if you went ahead and pick any niche that you were interested in, I'll go ahead and 
for the sake of the example. In this video, I'll pick a niche that I'm interested in, which is fitness. So let's say um, I wanted to sell like a gym bag or something like a drawstring bag. I could go ahead and type that in and see if they have it. So we can see here, we're looking for a drawstring bag that ships from the US. So we can see that there is a little bit of options here. So I could go ahead and look for one whose price I like along with the design. So right here, um, I'm gonna pick this one because it's kind of funny. And we can go ahead and open it up. And you can see that once we go ahead and open up a product, we're gonna see uh, the product description and we're going to get a little bit more details about the shipping time, whether it's to the United States or to the rest of the world. And then we'll see their processing time as well. Now this one has a higher shipping time, so I probably wouldn't use that. So I'd probably go back and try and find one with a shorter shipping time. So this is another bag right here that has a shorter shipping time. And so does this one. And the price is a bit cheaper. So I'd go ahead and we can open this one up. And we can see that this one's more of a fashion-based bag, so this probably wouldn't really fit a fitness store. So if I kept scrolling down and looking for something else here, we could go ahead and just pick a simple one like this that has low shipping time and a low price. So let's say I go ahead and open it up. And for the sake of the example, what we're going to do is I'm going to add it to the import list, and I'm going to show you how this works. So if we want to... Once you find a product that you like and you want to add it to your store, uh, we just go ahead and click the green button here to add it to our import list. And then we can go ahead and get rid of this right here. And then we can scroll back up. And let's say we wanted to go ahead and add one more product to the store within our niche. So if you so if you already know some different types of products that are in your niche that you want to sell, you could go ahead and search for them directly like we just did. Or perhaps you could just search um, something broad like fitness or whatever your niche is to get different ideas or products um, within the niche. So in this case, I'm just going to search another specific product here. And I'm going to search water bottle. So a lot of people take water bottles to the gym, especially these insulated ones. So I could go ahead and look at these right here, open one up. And then I could go ahead and add this to the import list as well. And you can see that now already I've got two products that are in my niche that I'm gonna be adding to the store that have really fast processing and shipping time. So they would arrive within the week, which is going to give you a huge edge on other people that are drop shipping from Chinese suppliers. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the next step, which is going to be to actually edit these products before we push them over to the store. So in order to do that, you come down here to import list. And then you can see we have the two products here that we went ahead and added from the search section are now going to show up down here in the import section. So what we can go ahead and do here now is we can edit the product, um, the details before it's sent over to our store. So you don't have to if you don't want, but you probably should clean up the details here to make it look a little bit better. So I could change the title of this to something like just a title that looks a little bit cleaner. And this one already looks like a relatively clean title. So you could just kind of keep it as is. And then you could go over to the description next. So this one already has a decent description. Now you probably should add in uh, a couple other things, especially uh, like brand specific things with your store, maybe um, a return policy or something like that at the bottom. Um, I'm not going to get into all the specifics of creating a description in this video. However, I've already made a video on this in the past. So if you're interested in how to create the optimal description for each one of your products. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below for you to go ahead and check out. But regardless, this is where you would go to edit the description. So you could go in and go ahead and just add in or delete stuff here. And then over here, the next option is variance. 
So both of these products have, well, this product has one variant and then this product has two variants. So you can see the difference here is just in the size of the bag. And then right here, this is one color and one size of water bottle. So also inside the variant section, what we can do is set up the price. So we can see here that the price right here is $16.79 for us to go ahead and source this and then it's $10 to ship it. So we'd have to mark this up a little bit more to receive a profit because right now we can see our profit is negative $4. And this isn't including if we charge shipping on our store. So if we do say charge $10 shipping on our store, then we could add this to 32 and then we'd see that we'd be making $5.60 profit. But let's say we want to sell this for $34.99 and let's say we want to go ahead and sell the bags for let's say $14.99, uh, $17.99 and $14.99. And this is the price that the product would go ahead and be published with when we push it over to our store. And then we have the compare at price here. So what this does is, is, is this is how you would create a sale if you wanna make it look like the product is on sale in your store. So if we wanted to do that, we could just do 44.99. And this would go ahead and create a $10 off sale right there. And the last thing we would need to edit is the images. So right here, you can go ahead and you'll see all of the images that are provided by the supplier. And you can either choose to use all of them or you can choose to use specific ones. This is up to you depending on which uh, images you like and which ones you don't like. And then after you've gone through and edited all this information, you can just go ahead and click save and then push to store. And then this is gonna go ahead and add the product to your store right there. So we can go ahead and save this one and push this one over as well. And then in a couple seconds, you'll see that these products will go ahead and appear in the store. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the store and I'm gonna click on products and we're gonna wait for it to load. And you can see here the drawstring bag and the insulated bottle. Both products have been added to the store. And if I go ahead and open one up, we can see that there is the sale we just created. And you can see all of the pictures imported right here and the description. And you can see that just in a couple clicks, we went ahead and have a couple products in our store already. So now at this point, I'm going to show you how order fulfillment works. So if somebody places an order for one of these products, the fulfillment process is actually really simple. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So that's where this section down here is going to come into play. So once you start getting orders, you just need to click on my orders right here. And I went ahead and placed a test order on this store. This is the test development store. And I went ahead and placed an order for one product that I added earlier, which is this lifting belt. And you can see that all you need to do to go ahead and place this order to fulfill this order is to click checkout. And you can go ahead and add a note to the supplier right here if you want, or you can just leave it blank. And then you would just go ahead and click place order. I'm obviously not going to place the order right now because it was not a real order. However, that's how simple it is. So if you're getting to the point where you're, you have a lot of orders and you need bulk checkout, uh, that is an option. So let's say you're getting, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 orders a day and you no longer want to manually fulfill these. You have the option to do bulk checkout. However, that is on one of the higher plans. So guys, that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is to go ahead and find products to sell on Shopify using the Spocket app. And like I said, the advantages of using this app are being able to source from US suppliers really easily. It's a lot easier to find US suppliers on here versus directly on AliExpress where the majority of suppliers are from China. The majority of suppliers on here are from the US and they're all curated right in here and it's very easy to go ahead and search for those different products. So with that said, if you want to check out Spocket, you can go ahead and click the first link in the description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.